what's up guys welcome back to my channel how are you doing i hope you are fine this is across nigeria where we do news on politics metro stories and other interesting breaking news um i have a story for you here and um it's about the governor of imo state rochas okorocha okay so um he has come for ihedioha and says um ihedioha is only making noise um imo state should ignore his directives okorocha tells workers so um okorocha the governor of imo state on thursday cautions um, workers of imo state to disregard directives from the state governor elect mecca ihedioha regarding the discharge of their official duties so okorocha called on workers of the state to disregard the hedioha's directive because the governor elect was only making noise he was reacting to uh, hedioha's directive that civil servants in the ministry of lands should stop the issuance of land titles fought with or be penalized so i really don't know um uh, your own contribution to this okay i want you guys to you know put in your own contribution on the comment section below you is the governor elect and um already he's um making directives um he's making directives um to the people of um, the civil servants in imo state okay now um, I take example. Remember the the fire incident that got the um, airport in Imo State. Um, just few hours after the fire incident, we all saw. Okay, for those of us that saw it, Ihedia was seen in the airport with the airport officials. Okay, trying to you know direct them and tell them what to do after the fire incident okay so he's the governor elect he's not yet the governor but already he's portraying himself as the governor of Imo state so um this one again is um uh, the directive that he's giving to civil servants in the ministry of lands okay so that is why okorocha is breaking silence um to warn the civil servant not to take directives from the head you have but um it's just a um, few weeks to handing over so what do you guys think about this is it correct okay let us not be biased here or uh, let us just speak the truth for once for ourselves i am not affiliated to any political party okay so let me disclaim that first i'm not affiliated to any political party um i'm not sided um I'm not siding a culture neither am i siding a heard you have but um looking at the truth in it do you guys think of he heard you have been the governor elect um should start you know dispensing his duty um being that he's gonna be the next governor of the most state or should he wait after the handing over what do you guys think about this but i i believe whatever he's doing he's doing it for the interest of Imo State, all right, um, being the fact that he knows he's gonna be the next governor, so I believe whatever he's doing, he should be doing it for the interest of Imo State, okay. Um, what do you guys think about this? You can put in your contribution on the comment section below. So, in a statement that was signed by Chief Press Secretary Sam Owumedo, okay, the governor insists that. He was the only one with constitutional right to give a directive until the end of his administration. So the statement reads, a press release with the reference caption, Chivemeka Hedioha, through his media, he stated that processing, issuance, um, execution and collection of certificate of occupancy in respect of land within the Uwe capital territory are hereby suspended. So 
he threatened to deal with all civil servants, public officers, special aides, and governor and government officials in all departments of um, the government who would disobey this order. So we want to ask those mentioned in the press release to ignore both the directive and the threat. There is no office like governor elect. So that was um, what the Korocha says, no, go no office of governor elect in the constitution of Nigeria or in any other known ordinance. In other words, there is only one office of the governor in the state and Owele Rocha Sokorocha is the occupant of that office. So um, Okorocha in the, is the only one that has the constitutional right to issue such directive, not the governor elect. Therefore, those concerned should continue to do their work without fear of molestation, since they have not contravened any law of the land or any civil servant rule. And the activities of the government cannot be kept on hold because someone has been declared winner of a contentious governorship election. So once again, Chief Yedioha should remain civil until he is sworn in on May 29. When he comes in, he knows what to do on any action taken by Owele Rocha's administration. It does not require too much noise or rascality. So that was the statement made by Rocha Sokorocha. So Rocha Sokorocha has transformed Imo State to a very large extent introduce and ensure free education from primary to university since 2011. Medowery, a befitting state capital with 8 to 12 lane road and street light. Indeed, Rocha Sokorocha has more than 1,000 verifiable projects um, to his credit. PDP only promoted share the money policy and dwell extensively on merriment with expensive wines like Moed, Exo, Hennessy as their choice drink. All those ones was, the statement was made by Okorocha, right? And we do not expect them to perform any magic this time. So they should curtail the whole noise. We know their capacity. So that is the, the message that is sent from Okorocha to Ihedioha, telling him not to make noise and also telling the workers, the civil servant in Imo State, not to take directives from Ihedioha. So what do you guys think about this? Do you think um, as the governor elect, he should start dispensing his duty um, or should he wait until he is um, sworn in on May 29? Let me see your own reaction on the comment section below and please don't forget guys if you haven't subscribed i want to beg you to help me hit that 11,000 subscribers this week all right i'm gonna thank you guys if i hit 11,000 subscribers this week i am out i'll see you guys in the next video